Parked at the West Sacramento entrance to the Tower Bridge, police say this is the woman who shut down Capitol Avenue. Seen here staring out her window, then bending down inside the car. Witnesses say she parked here around 2.40 and seemed determined in her actions. I, I saw a woman get out of the car and she had some wires in her hand that looked like they had come from the trunk and she started to shove the wires into the gas tank. And when I saw that, I was like, we got to get out of here. When officers arrived, they saw the same thing shutting down the bridge and nearby roads for several blocks. They saw that, the officers kind of raised the red flag and they immediately backed up. Fearing an explosive device, the bomb squad and SWAT team were called in. After more than an hour and a half of waiting, they moved in. First with officers on foot, followed by a SWAT truck. After making it to the rear of the vehicle, the woman surrendered. She got out holding a sign asking for a public defender, then dropped it and walked backwards to the officers who took her into custody, unsure of what's in the car. We're going to take a slow approach and a methodical approach. The incident created major traffic headaches for drivers who use this route, many taking the nearby I Street Bridge, which backed up. And officers asked people who live in the area to shelter in place. So I was thinking, geez, if there's a bomb, like who knows maybe how big the bomb could be, you know, I, I got to get out of here. I mean, I figured the police would have told us to evacuate or something if they really thought something was going to blow up. Robots later shot inside the car with water cannons, disarming any potential threat within.